My name is Megan Gallishaw. I've been attending FaithBridge for three years. I think I jumped in at FaithBridge pretty slow, pretty hesitant. Um, I think I did it all backwards. I joined a serve team because my mom was on a serve team and she kind of just brought me along. And then a year later I took FaithBridge 101. I think I was hesitant about joining a grow group just because I had been in Bible studies before and I never really found that I fit in. But I was just at that point in my life where I'm just gonna do everything new, God, because I wanna see your power. And so I even remember driving to our grow group and praying and saying, Lord, this is so out of my comfort zone and everything in me just doesn't wanna show up and doesn't wanna walk through that door. But there was something about our grow group and I would like to believe that all grow groups are like this at Faith Bridge where I walked in the door and people greeted me and carried on conversations and asked me about my life and it felt comfortable and it wasn't scary despite all the fears and ideas that I had about a grow group. And it just felt like I belonged. And I had up until that point given here and there as the offering basket came by and given to other ministries, but not a full 10%. That seemed very scary and overwhelming to me. But I think that if it didn't make me uncomfortable to do it, that would mean it's easy and it wouldn't require faith. And I started looking at things differently. I thought, I only have a job because the Lord has given me a job and um, I'm able to work because the Lord's blessed me with health. It changed my whole mindset of how could I not give back a portion of what the Lord has given me. I gave the first time in November, but not a full 10%. I kind of, I jumped in hesitantly and then December rolled around and I thought, God's got me, I can give a full 10%. And it, it made me nervous and it, it felt out of my comfort zone. And I had little fears here and there pop into my head that maybe go and question and check my bank account, but the Lord was faithful. And, and December was a tough month for me as I tithed Christmas and moving out expenses. Then New Year's Eve, my car was vandalized. Pretty bad, the whole back window was blown out and I just remember one morning before work in January on my knees praying and telling God the feeling that I felt, that I felt worried and that I felt anxious and I felt where am I going to have money to pay for the damaged car and how am I going to make it living on my own and very just a very honest conversation with God about my fears and at the end I just remember saying, but I trust you. And I went to school that morning and we had a staff meeting at work and they said, um, our district started a new program where if you missed less than two days in this fall semester that your name is in a hat and we're gonna draw a name for a winner to receive um, you know, a $1,600 bonus. And there were 24 people at our campus that met that requirement. And um, they called my name and I remember um, shaking. Other teachers jumped up and were screaming for me, but I couldn't, I couldn't move. And I started shaking because I knew right there that the Lord was saying, you're going to be okay and I'm taking care of you. And although you give and you feel that money is tight, that I'll provide for you in ways that you would never expect, but just be faithful. I've learned through this that God not only is powerful, but that He cares for me individually. When I get in the car and go to work, there's a feeling of joy that I feel that wasn't there before. Tithing is still new and my grow group is still new and sometimes I do feel like I'm on a ledge, but when I go back to truth, I know that where the Lord has me and where He leads me is the safest place to be.